Back to Earth, Washington Festival, Human Composting, Olympia, Washington Washington appears set to become the first state to allow a burial alternative known as natural organic reduction and accelerated decomposition process that turns bodies into soil within weeks. The bill legalizing the process, sometimes referred to as human composting, has passed the legislature and is headed to the desk of Democratic Governor James Lee. The measure's sponsor, Democratic Senator Jamie Pedersen of Seattle, said that the low environmental impact way to dispose of remains makes sense, especially in crowded urban areas. The natural organic reduction process yields a cubic yard, 0.76 cubic meters, of soil per body enough to fill about two large wheelbarrows. Pedersen said that the same loss that applied to scattered cremated remains apply to the soil, relatives can keep the soil in burn, use it to plant a tree on private property or spread it on public land in the state as long as they comply with existing permissions regarding remains. It is sort of astonishing that you have this completely universal human experience we're all going to die and here's an area where technology has done nothing for us. We have the two means of disposing of human bodies that we've had for thousands of years, during and burning, Pedersen said. It just seems like an area that is ripe for having technology help give us some better options than we have used. Pedersen said an entrepreneurial constituent whose study of the process became her master's thesis brought the idea to him. Katrina Shade, the founder and CEO of Resimbo, one of the graduate students in architecture at the University of Massachusetts Amherst when she came up with the idea most limited on the practice farmers have used for decades to dispose of livestock. She modified that process a bit, and found that the use of wood chips, alfalfa and straw creates a mixture of nitrogen and carbon that accelerates natural decomposition when the body is placed in a temperature and moisture controlled vessel and rotated. Six human bodies all donors who state that wanted to be part of this study were reduced to soil during a pilot project at Washington State University last year. The transformation from body to soil took between four and seven weeks, state said. A price for the service hasn't yet been set, but the recompose of site states that the company's goal is to build a sustainable business to make recomposition a permanent death care option serve people for decades to come, and make our services available, to all who want them. According to the Cremation Association of North America, Washington State's cremation rate is the highest in the nation. More than 78% of those who died in the state in 2017 were cremated, and that number is expected to increase to more than 82% in 2022. Ross Ross, Executive Director of the Washington State Funeral Directors Association, said his group has been getting questions about the new process, and State has been a speaker at a series of recent district meetings of the association. To be able to provide more options for people's choices is a very exciting thing, he said. State says that she doesn't want to replace cremation or burial, but instead offer a meaningful alternative that is also environmentally friendly. Our goal is to provide something that is as aligned with the natural cycle as possible, but still realistic in being able to serve a good number of families and not take up as much land as burial will, she said. Pedersen said he thinks he may still want a marker in a cemetery when he dies, but said he is drawn to the idea of his body taking up less space with a process like natural organic reduction. I think it's really a lovely way of exciting the earth, he said. Pedersen's bill also would authorize in Washington state the use of alkaline hydrolysis already used in 19 other states which uses heat, pressure, water, and chemicals like light to reduce remains to components of roots and bones similar to cremated ashes that can be kept in urns or interred. Related stories. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.